Collection Launch Invitational presented by ESL. Golden Boy and Bravo here as we're going to be calling the action for STK facing off against VWS Gaming. Super pumped about this matchup. It's going to be a good one, Bravo. Uh, I mean, you know, again, just when we had the first matchup of the day, which was the Agency versus Optic Gaming, we knew we were in for a treat. Definitely saw some good stuff there from Believe the Hype in their matchup against Purple Rain, but now this is where we're going to get into the meat of this tournament here with these uh, next two matches coming up. Yeah, these next two matches, match three and match four, are going to be pretty big and, of course, determine the lower half of that winner's bracket. Uh, excited to see, uh, of course, this match, though. I think I'm, I'm most excited about out of the two about this match. Like you said, uh, VWS, a team that came off of our uh, second place at the last tournament, so you can, be, you can bet that they're coming here trying to win, right? Uh, but right. SDK has a lot to prove, right? They brought back a team name uh, from over the more than 10 years ago, oh, right? Yeah, man. Uh, cool. A team that is legendary, STK, with a lot of tournament wins and success back in the Halo 1 days. So, so to bring back that team name, Ogre 2 must be pretty confident. Of course, Ogre 2, the team, ca excuse me, Heinz, the team captain there, and he has selected Ogre 2, Snakebite, and Royal 2 uh, to go with him into battle. Yeah, when the announcement was made, uh, I thought it was actually pretty funny that you, you actually noted it. You were like, you know, people are going to notice that Ogre 2 is not here. And there's a reason for that, because he's already been chosen. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. You had to highlight that right away. I did, yeah. I mean, Ogre 2, of course, one of the most legendary players in the history of competitive Halo. And uh, Heinz right away picked him up. This team was actually a team that was announced a while ago, uh, kind of officially, as the team that they would be competing with in the Master Chief Collection and Halo 2 anniversary. So, of course, excited to have them here. Uh, but it's not going to be an easy match for them against VWS, who is now looking to um, turn that second place of the last tournament into a first place here at the Launch Invitational. Oh, yeah. VWS Gaming, uh, you know, you mentioned it, right? They came, they were the runner-up at PAX Prime, came up short there, but there you can see the boys, Nade, legit, Goofy, Mickwin, obviously out for blood, and they want to get right back to that uh, to that uh, grand finals, and at the same time, you know, take it a step further, you know, take it home, take it all the way for the VWS organization, um, but uh, it's going to be tough, man. SDK definitely has a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, slaying prowess, a lot of talent yep. on that squad. This is going to be an intense matchup. And of course, guys, just to give you the rundown, we're going to be kicking off game one. And in case you guys don't know, will be five flag CTF, multi flag CTF. Game two will be Team Slayer on lockdown. And if necessary, game three will be King of the Hill on Warlord. So uh, again, you know, we have, uh, we, we saw how the HC and Opti Gaming played uh, you know, the first matchup, uh, uh, CTF was really all about holding those side positions here. And I'm assuming we're going to see the same thing again. But if you had to tip your hat in the favor of one team over the other, or over the other in this mat or in this game type, who would it be and why? You know, I think in Five Flag CTF on Warlord, I really need to give it to VWS here, and there's a few reasons why I say that. Uh, from left to right here, you're looking at uh, Goofy on your screen right here, as well as joined by Nated in that middle chair. He is the team captain. Uh, legit and Mikwin uh, down on the far end. This roster, I think, as I said, they not only can they play this match very quickly, can they play with the speed that you need to win a Warlock flag game, but also, you know, this is a roster that's been together since the past event, right? They, they've played mm -hmm. Halo 2 Anniversary before, and they're ready to go, and they're ready to go here at this tournament. Uh, you know, SDK, I have a lot of confidence in that roster. I think they're very strong, and I think they can make some noise in this tournament, but specifically on Game 1, I'm expecting VD VWS to come out of the gate and put themselves in a good position to win that trophy right there. Yeah, I, I wouldn't uh, disagree with you, man. I, you know, I, again, dropping back to the community and what everyone's been saying, you know, there was a lot of talk of it being a VW, or excuse me, an Optic Gaming SDK final, yep. right? And uh, I felt like so many people were just selling short VWS. You know, they have all the capability, right? They proved it at PAX. It was just, you know, Optic Gaming or EX at that time, they were just playing at, uh, at another level. Right um, now, I, I feel like VWS and, and been again watching a lot of the streams and seeing these guys play. And, you know, they definitely feel a lot more confident uh, coming into this one. Uh, but then, you know, when you when you think about STK though, and how they've also been, uh, you know, kind of prepping for this and the confidence that they have to form this team a while ago, uh, you know, for Halo: The Master Chief Collection, definitely kind of shows the you know how they're how they're looking at each other as a team, yeah. right? And and. SDK, while VWS could potentially thrive in this one, I could easily see SDK taking that Team Slayer lockdown. Hey, I hey. mean, if, if VWS isn't careful. Oh, certainly. I mean, VWS needs to uh, take this team very seriously. One thing I'm very curious to see, VWS, a roster, historically, very intense team, right? Once you get Nate and Goofy talking, they will not stop talking. Their communication uh, is quite good, and it suits their play style very well. I'm curious what we're going to see 
on the STK side, though, right? And in, in terms of intensity and in their communication, we'll see if they can hold it together and, and put up a fight against this VWS team. Yeah, it's going to be a good one, guys. The map is being loaded right now. We are about to get this one going. VWS versus STK. Winner will move on to face against the winner of Straight Rippin' and TCM Gaming. That matchup is going to be coming up next. But those guys definitely ready to go. The confidence is there for everyone looking for legit to go huge as well. I haven't really spoken a lot about right. him. And uh, I, I think he's another player who could just show up at any point in time. This is going to be an epic matchup. Oh, it's going to be good. I mean, that's a great point. Legit and Nated together, of course, players who have been playing together uh, for a very long time since their Halo 2 days. And they're back, of course, on the 10-year anniversary playing again. Uh, so we'll see if they're able to do it in this match. We're ready to kick off the action right now. We're starting off with Ogre 2 on STK. We're here with Multiflag CTF on Warlord. You're watching match three of Winner's Bracket Round 1, STK facing off against VWS. Ogre 2 now, uh, obviously one of the greatest to play the game here. I had to kick it off with him because I wanted to see what he was going to be bringing to the table at the beginning. Now he's going to be looking around the middle of the map here as uh, there is going to be some pressure. Oh, wait a minute. Ogre 2 going to have to drop back just a little bit here. There is going to be some pressure coming over from that uh, from that red side. Let's go ahead and jump over to Royal 2 now who has uh, some good, a good vantage point on Goofy. He's oh. looking to get that solid four. That's going to be a killing spree. As a matter of fact, for Royal 2 as he finally gets taken out. Yeah, he gets that touch as well. Doesn't look like Heinz is in a position to jump top mid to run that flag though so that might be a dead flag we'll see if they're able to get a, a grip on that now Heinz trying to move there he does have three seconds Two, I might be one. wrong and he's gonna get that touch amazing Big. timing there Heinz gets that to his plat right now we'll see if now anyone is in position to continue to run that flag yeah it seems like Royal 2 could be that's gonna be a double kill though Royal 2 oh looking to put goodness. this flag in STK can they do it yes they do and that's gonna make it one to zero STK taking the lead yeah right there now picking up this shots Ooh, goofy with nice shots on Royal 2 will take him out we'll go ahead and now switch over to the VWS side. We'll see what Nated is up to off of the respawn. Now portaling through, they're down to an early deficit. And like we said, if VWS does not really take this match seriously, no, they could fall down pretty quickly. Ogre 2 with another flagpole. V, uh, VWS now getting challenged from top mid. Now Nated playing the portal game and trying to stay alive. He does get taken out, though. Yeah, there's not much he could have done there as we switch over to Goofy now, who is uh, looking to actually defend that flag. And he is going to get that return. So that's going to be huge. But there's going to be a player inside the blue base, though. Oh. And that's going to be Goofy for the stop hitting him with the melee and that will pretty much stop any run that they could have had inside of the blue base for the red team but still one to zero that is a glaring number there to see so early into this matchup bravo yeah i gotta say one thing i just saw from ogre 2 that i loved he was weak in that vent when goofy lifted up still managed to Ooh. get the melee on goofy that's a huge play could be a sign of things to come from ogre 2 yeah and that flag is going to get thrown around to the left side here mick wins actually going to be uh near the vicinity to potentially make something happen but that could just be a throwaway flag and uh, there's going to be Heinz there around the oh, corner with the, the Sentinel, Sentinel beam. beam. That's the first I think we've seen it so far, uh, trying to do some damage to that thing, of course. That can melt the shields of your opponent pretty quickly. He did try to use that, potentially uh, team it with a melee attack right now. Heinz tosses that flag out. It looks like Mikwin going back and forth between the BR and the Sentinel Beam and trying to stay alive on his own base right here. Oh, but Mikwin is going to get picked off before he can even use that Sentinel Beam. Now Legit, though, is on the prowl in the top, but we got to switch over to Ogre 2 to see what's going on with him because Ogre 2 actually finding two players up top. Goofy's going to get picked as Ogre 2 will drop back, and <laughs> he just <laughs> shoots Snake Bite, who is coming through the portal at the same time. He uh, made it so he couldn't actually pour it through. Now, might try to lift up here. It might just use also use the nade jump. Lifts up through the vent. Now, challenging him. Looks like a player is waiting for him here on the enemy flag. Picks up that kill on Legit. A nice job to clear the path for a potential flag run. Yeah, Ogre 2 is going to drop that flag down, and he's a... Uh, oh, there is going to be a player right behind him. There's going to be Mick oh but my. Ogre 2 able to overcome that one. And Goofy that was huge there. Flag is going to be around six seconds before it will return back to the base. Goofy over my top yellow platform as he's going to have to abandon that one. The flag goes right back. Nated, though, has that flag in hand. He will get taken out. Flag's going to be down presently, but Ogre 2 is just running around this map, and he's having his way with this VWS team. Yeah, right now that flag do, does reset, so both flags back at home. Ogre 2 trying to figure out. Looks like a lack of communication there, trying to figure out what's going on back home. I'd love to see what's going on with the VWS roster. We haven't gotten to take a look too much at Maquin just yet. He does get taken out, but we'll go ahead and see what Goofy's... Doing. Looks like four players oh, down, four actually. Down. We tried to show the VWS roster, but all all four were dead. Nated is the first player up, and that flag is being ran by Camo. VWS in a tough spot. That flag is now being ran, and we'll see if anyone 
on the uh, SDK side is in position to run it in. It looks like Snakebite is going to be that player now. Going to grab it right off the spawn and go ahead and grab that. Now, if they go up 2-0, to zero, SDK with a great lead here over VWS just a few minutes into the match. You, you can just tell the control that SDK has in this game, Bravo. The VWS has not been able to set up properly, and they every time it seems like they go for a push, they don't have that guy that's going to be there for the support to be able to, you know, get a couple stops, you know, cut off a, a couple of the routes some of these guys are going to be taken here. So now the flag is going to be down yet again. SDK looking to make this one happen. Goofy's going to be right in front of him, and that's going to be seven seconds left before it returns, but they have players around there, so they should be able to get that flag or at the very least uh, touch it. And... No, they're actually going to let that one uh, drop back. So, uh, and why Why is that? Is that just because they knew that they just did not have position? Right, yeah, especially with a 2-0 lead, Golden Boy. Sometimes you don't want to risk that map control because on a map like Warlord, it's actually possible for the enemy team, should you lose map control, to do back-to-back -back captures. If they kill you and then kill you one more time off of the respawn, it can mean bad things. So generally, when you have that two-point cushion, all you want to do is maintain map control and keep that a priority. Yeah, well, let's uh, see what's up with Nate as he's going to be at a quarter shields now. Nate's flying in all over the place waiting to see if he can get that and he has to get this flag and he does manage to do so so he's gonna have a full shield running to this one taking shots to almost there now he's gonna have no shield as he gets picked off and the flag Ooh. is gonna be returned here that is unfortunate for vws that is a very big return there uh, from the stk side and actually royal 2 is now in position to run this fight trying to stay al alive in the vent he has tossed the flag out towards the enemy's vent portal we'll see if he can try to continue this run it looks like even strength oh, both he three. finds three players there no chance for him as he gets taken out and a nice rally back by VWS to put on the pressure making sure a third flag capture doesn't happen I gotta talk about Ogre too though he has camo and he has the flag and you mentioned it before camo being so important on Warlord so he's gonna continue to put some shots down but look at the pressure though is uh, he's actually gonna have to drop back from this one camo gonna, definitely gonna play and look at advantage. that he can continue to toss that flag out Golden Boy as we talked about earlier being a pain in the neck in the enemy's base and continuing to toss the flag out in each direction constantly makes them turn back towards their base they cannot go on the offensive when you have a player like Ogre, Ogre 2 doing that and with the two kill cushion he can ha he has that luxury to kind of just keep being a pain in the neck in the enemy's base yeah and it's it's very agitating right as a player when you see that flag go down and, and in your head you just like, come on right and and you know like at that point you just have no control you have no control if you're allowing the other team to just get into the base so easily and no one's able to call that one out but Nate though with that flag he's actually going to get the jump and this is going to be a cap and yes it's going to be two to one as VWS will be able to answer back here but they're still going to be down by one they have plenty of time to work with yeah right now only down by only down two to one so uh, if we actually look at the clock looks like just over eight minutes left uh, before we'd hit uh, that sudden death mark of course at the 15 minute mark if one team is leading the game will end at the bottom right of your screen you can take a look at the game timer currently listing 2302 that's your indicator and that lets you know how much time is actually left in the match and right now finds a camo player might take him out oh Ooh. my goodness and nated punishing Hines trying to lift up with that camo as I said golden boy when you have the camo you need to put it to use you need to maximize its potential and anytime you waste it you know that could change the result of the game and yeah, Nate is taking a lot of fire though from the side as he's gonna have to abandon that position sending nades out as he looks over across on top green platform and seeing what's going on here with uh who is this with Hines Hines for the SDK team no he's gonna get picked off jumping back over to Mickwin he gets taken out and I'm gonna stay with VWS here just because I want to see what they're gonna be doing they're, they, they're on the hot seat right now Bravo they're down two to one they have time to work with here but they have to make moves and they have to establish that control early on right and here's legit a legendary Halo 2 pro he's returned for Halo 2 anniversary we'll see if he can help his team rally back Ooh. that flag is out but he does get taken out that's okay goofy is in a position to continue the run he this has a little big. bit of help from nate and he might try to lift up here tosses the flag up into the flag that puts it in, in the flag area nate is about the cap and nate does land the cap and they tie it two to two 21 57 left on the clock amazing stuff there from goofy he tossed the flag up into the flag area put it in the perfect place for nate who runs it in that's a classic warlock move that was such a great play there and you can tell that communication between the two teams that's exactly what you wanted to see if you are a vws fan so legit taking some fires he's gonna jump back but goofy we're gonna stick with him because he has been a playmaker here in this matchup finding over two across map and he's taking fire from behind as he's gonna be at about a quarter shield and will get cleaned up yep. by Hines. stk now running that third flag we'll see snake by top middle. we'll see if he can get that across the map right now tossing perfectly landing no on the shields button. he finally does get taken out is anyone on stk in position to touch this and it's Hines. we'll see if he can grab it he has camo does not get the touch though looks like royal two now we'll switch over oh to him goodness. and he gets taken out that was oh for a moment four players down for
for STK. Of course, now Nated running that flag. He gets the return. Now Nated running this flag. This is what we saw last game, and that flag actually drops. Oh. Unfortunately, Nated accidentally drops bottom middle. That's going to put a lot of pressure on and make it a lot more difficult to run this flag. Yeah, and there goes the Sentinel oh. beam. <laughs> that is awesome as Ogre 2 is going to be the victim there. Nated is going to be able to pick up this flag. Oh, and and he uses forward. the flat route. That's an interesting choice. Mike can take it out here. Oh. That flag is going to stay. Let's see if it actually skipped all the way across. Is there anyone in position on the VWS side? And yes, it might be legit who's now waltzing his way to the flag. No. He gets taken out, and it looks like now Miquin is the last hope if you want to switch over to that first man. He gets taken out, though, right now. No, excuse me, returned. but that flag is returned, and he gets taken out. Now on the other side, STK in a position to counter cap. This is insane because, you know, VWS put all their, you know, put all their marbles into that one, and it was just unfortunate for them that they were not able to capitalize on it. So looking around to see what's going on. We're going to stick with VWS here to see what they can do. Of course, uh, two to two right now. Definitely not what STK, you know, had in mind because they had some great control at the beginning of the game. Oh. Big window. Can't quite. Oh, that was oh. actually a trade. Yeah, nice trade there. Both players landing perfect four shots to eliminate one another. That shows you the skill level that we had here at the launch invitational. Staying on board with Nick off the respawn. We'll see if he can get his team a lead here. As you said, Alex, they were down two to zero at the start of the match. They quickly rallied back and brought it back to an even playing field. That's right. So looking here to see what's up with Nated. He's putting some long-range shots into World 2, who legit oh, managed man. to pick up. That's going to be a kill on Ogre 2 again. And pre-nating those, uh, you know, those those teleporters there. Snake bite. He tries to challenge. That's going to be a headshot for Nated. And they're just continuing to push forward here. It seems like this could be the run for them. Nated, if he gets this kill, this will be huge from having to back up. World 2, you know, smartly enough, able to stay alive. Those nades flying in, jumping all over the place. Nated will get picked off as there's going to be, uh, I believe, two down right now presently for VWS. Yeah, right now, let's go ahead and see what Hines is up to on the STK side as he picks up one kill, trying to stay alive, trying to get his team back in a position to get their lead back. Uh, you know, they had a really strong start here. And what I was worried about, you know, if, if you are STK, is you need to maintain the pressure throughout the match, right? You can't let up. You cannot let the BWS roster get back into this right now. As Nated trying to lead a flag run across the map, he's stopped right now. Nice route there to stay alive in the vent area. Going to try, Ooh. but he finally does get taken out. And it looks like no one on BWS in a position to continue that run. So it might be safe for STK to continue to just look for map control rather than get the return. Yeah, we'll stick with Nated off the respawn to see what he's going to do. Uh, of course, both flags are going to be on the uh, you know respective side of the bases here. Time's going to be dwindling down in regular. Play Nated Ooh. though. He uh, actually saw one of the players there and again just absolutely demolished with grenades and Nated just continuing to look around. But oh, look at this though, the pressure coming from the oh, teleporter. Unfortunately, yeah, it gets pitched there. Just bad timing there, unfortunately, for Three Nated down. as he pushed out. And we'll go ahead and see what Snake Bites up to. We haven't spent a lot of time on his POV. want to see how he's anchoring his team here. As I said, Royal 2 and Snake Bite, my two X Factors here. They have the potential to take this team very far in the tournament if they are on fire. Finding players at the green base while he tosses it to yellow. A nice play there. Might try to run this, but it is down near the vent. Not in the best position to try to run it uh, as he sees Goofy across the map right now. Picking up another Ooh. kill and looks like still hesitant to run this, but it looks like they're actually waiting because Royal 2 has the camo. And now Hines running this flag back. If you want to switch over to Hines, he's about to bring this flag in right now. And that's going to be 3-2. to two. SDK takes the lead with just a little bit left in the match, putting the pressure on VWS. That flag was grabbed and just ran right into the teleporter as yep. soon as possible. Smart play out of Hines there as we stick with him. And now that flag is going to get thrown down. They're hoping to see if they can cause a little bit of a distraction, a little bit of a ruckus inside of the red base. One player there for the blue team. That's going to be Goofy. Flag is going to be picked up, but legit is going to be able to. Oh, yes, my. He gets the kill there on Hines. Ever so close, though, as legit Oh, my goodness. A switch over. Hit. He hit that back by that perfect assassination. This is huge. Huge. Oh, my goodness. Might be able to cap your VWS. He's taken out. We'll see if anyone's in position. Wow. And no one will get returned right there. VWS almost making an incredible play as legit gets the sneaky portal back by with the flag, but just a second away from capping. Score stays at 3-2 to two in favor of SDK. Two minutes left on the clock here for VWS. If they are not able to do this, SDK will win it in regulation play. Over two long range, legit going for the challenge. He's actually going to get the assist there. Now you can see once again that pressure oh. is going to be on. That's going to be two down right now for here SDK. We go. This oh, is going to be huge. It doesn't matter. Legit missed that jump, but they clean up the third kill. Now three down on the SDK side. They're in position to run this flag and potentially tie the game. Woo. Only a minute and a half 
half left for them to do so before we'd hit that sudden death mark. This is a pressure-filled situation. Flag oh, is going to be in the hands, I believe, of Goofy. No, of Mickwin. I stand corrected. Mickwin uh, oh, trying to see. Down. We'll see. Oh, no, Can't as a return. big return from over two. Legit was doing an Ooh. incredible job holding down his side of the map. However, the rest of the VWS roster was unable to do so. That flag returns now. We have just over a minute left in regulation. That's right. World 2 able to take out Nated. And uh, Nate it off to respawn. You know, the, these guys know that the pressure's on. One minute left on the clock for them to be able to do anything here. And we saw this happen actually before, I, I believe, when Opti Gaming uh, was able to cap that flag. But then it, it ended up occurring that, you know, the agency were able to capitalize right away. So let's see if this is uh, actually going to be the case. Goofy's going to be the player to watch here as he is going to have the flag presently. Oh, no, he didn't quite know which way to go. That might have cost him an extra second. Going to try to oh, jump up. But that flag is down. Looks like we'll see if anyone is able to run it. Another player gets taken down. Mikwin now with the flag. He tries to toss the flag up. We'll see if anyone can do it now. Nated is in a spot to run the flag. And Nated able to cap that. They tie it up with only 30 seconds left. We are tied at three. VWS able to secure that flag, but that flag is now being ran by Legit again. Somehow, Legit was ready to run that flag again now, and he's at green base. We'll see if they can turn this. That'd be an amazing double cap if they did, Golden Boy. Yeah, that would be nuts, but those things are going to be flying in in green. Hines is actually going to go for the challenge here, and oh, Hines no. will win that battle against Nated. That was big. Hines winning that battle, trading with that player was very important. He does have help from Mikwin, though. They're going to try to run this flag in. We'll see if they can do so. Right now, Legit is alone. We'll see if he can run this flag up. Oh. Somehow staying alive, manages to jump up no. to the platform, avoiding the grenades no. that he has out here. Oh. Finally gets taken out, and now we'll see if anyone on VWS is able to run it, but I think that flag actually has returned on both sides. Yes, both flags are back, Golden Boy. VWS almost pulling off an insane double capture to win the game. However, both flags now back at home as these teams will reset. This is, uh, again, I knew that this was going to happen. These two teams are hungry for a victory here, especially with VWS at PAX Prime. Legit, though, unfortunately, is going to get meleeed and switching over to Ogre 2, who's actually low on shield, so, we, you know, we may see if he tries to stay alive here, but if there's one person who can, it is Ogre 2, and look at that, back to full look shields, that, looking right. for the challenge again, finding one, is nope. he going to do it? No, he's, he's going to get whack, back whack from behind there, that's going to be unfortunate for him, jumping over to Snakebite. Yeah, Snakebite right now with full shields, holding down one of the side bases, catches Mikwin off guard, love that play, picks up that clean four-shot kill, right. going to try to get man advantage here if he can, and those days are nades. coming into the vent, needs to stay alive to be an anchor on this side of the map. As I've been saying earlier in the tournament, it's so important that you hold down those side bases, those are essentially That's a secondary right. objective alongside the flag. You want to hold those side bases. Once you do so, you can really lock down map control. Yeah, so look for Snake Bike to try and get control there yet again. Legit though, off, uh, you know, actually getting picked off or getting a couple shots into him from Snake Bite. Off the respawn there, and that knows Nate just flying it oh, all over the place. There's that just nothing he could have done there as we switch over to Ogre 2. He Apologies. gets taken out. He gets picked. World 2 gets picked. That's going to be three down right now as Legit is going to have the flag. But no, he's going to get picked off. But his teammate's going to be there. And who has the flag right I now? Actually, no one is actually just that, sitting there. That's right. That flag is just happens to be down next to the portal. However, no one on the VWS roster in a position to run that just yet and we'll see if they can do it but also stk now pulling the flag as well ogre 2 moving the flag across the map we'll see if he can stay alive nate's flying in he stays alive somehow in the grenade area oh my goodness and it gets the stick right there and he gets taken out but we'll see now what royal 2 is up to with that flag still out now both flags have reset once again back at home ladies and gentlemen we told you warlord flag is a fast game type and right here we're just barely trying to keep up with these two yeah, teams i mean you know like we have this awesome switching system of us just trying to get the different perspectives and it's just an absolute carnage in this matchup. Royal 2 dealing with a lot, though, as Nated, on the other hand, he's actually looking to make some noise here over by uh, Top Red. And uh, what's going on on your side, Bravo? What do you see presently? Looks like Nated finally getting taken out. We'll see that flag. Both flags, once again, back at home. So Golden Boy, almost four times in a row just now. Jeez. We saw both flags pulled right, and both flags are able to, both teams are able to get returns. Now, the reason that's happening is neither team has been able to Ooh. lock down map control. Once a team does that, they'll be able to do things like grab top middle control, grab the camo grab the side bases however these two teams speak of the devil goofy now grabbing that camo and this might be what vws needs he needs to make sure he doesn't die here it's so important he stays alive with the camo oh but he's gonna get picked off top mid and you know i do want to commend though vws for the help that goofy was getting but still just you know and, and again it wasn't really even uh, his teammates fault goofy just put himself in a position where he exposed himself to the base goofy though uh, off the respawn is going to find a player near that teleporter and uh, let's just see if goofy is going to stay up here because you know he He's, he knows that there's pressure. No, he is going to get picked. And alternatively, on the other side, Snake Bite's turn to be featured on stream. Let's see what he's going to do here. Yeah, Snake Bite getting pinched right here. A nice cross mapping there from the VWS side, making sure Snake Bite is not a threat in the side base. They know how important it is to lock down that area right now, trying to neutralize that threat. Looks like one player does drop, so the pressure.
pressure is on SCK, but Snakebite answers back with a nice kill on the Jit, who is dropping down. Also challenges Goofy, has help, cleans up that kid, kill as well, and they're in good position to potentially grab Map Control here. Yeah, and uh, Snakebite looking around, and he, again, you mentioned these side bases yep. all the time. This is uh, basically what, where you want to be. My goodness, amazing shot Look for how Snake many bite. shots he's laying down, all the angles that he can hit, staying alive against Nated right there, engaging three separate players. I love what I'm seeing from Snakebite. What we need now from SDK is Royal 2, who's in the base right now, to get that flagpole. That player, actually, that Snakebite was tagging has, uh, you know, has to have an inclination that there's going to be pressure come from behind, and they do. And so they're able to stop at least one, but Royal 2 is still going to be hanging outside of the base. Now it's going to be Snakebite pushing up alongside of him as the flag has been right pulled. Now, what Snakebite is doing is actually blocking the respawn right now. He's making sure no enemy team is spawning in the area where they're running the flag. You want to force the enemy respawn on the other side of the map, and that's what they've done. They might be able to bring this home. Yeah, now who has the flag presently? It's, it seems it's, like, uh, like World 2. it's going to be World 2 with the flag. This could be it as, uh, as the, the flag's going to be pulled in. And yeah. That's going to do it as STK will take it 4-3. to three here in game number one. And I gotta say, amazing discipline from Snakebite there. Just uh, really nice stuff. As you saw him holding that side base, it looks like Royal 2 was not gonna be able to get a flagpole, right? Yeah. But he was patient. He waited inside green base, made sure he locked down that area. Then you, went, you saw Royal 2 run that flag through the green area. They forced the respawn yellow. That's textbook Warlord flag. Brilliant stuff there. And now VWS has, uh, you know, a lot in front of him with lockdown, but I definitely do think that VWS could come out on top in this lockdown matchup strictly because you get that sniper, you know, Nated's hands, even Legit's hands, I mean, they can cause a lot of problems. Uh, right. Or excuse me, not Legit, but, you know, just just causing problems in general is what uh, I'm looking for Legit to do, um, as well as Goofy. Uh, that's kind of been uh, what we saw from them at, at v, you know, at, at PAX Prime. Nated has to slay his heart away. Yep. On the other side, though, you know, you got, uh, you got SDK that they're feeling great after that one because Snakebite and you mentioned it you said Snakebite World 2 are going to be your guys to take note of and yep. Snakebite definitely proved that there he was again you mentioned you said the word discipline that's very true he hung out right by the side base he was just putting shots down on nearly everyone, and uh, it, was just, it was showing there, and that's why STK were, were able to take this one. Just yeah. brilliantly played. Brilliantly I, I love played. what I saw there. I, once again, it was also kind of a very similar match that we saw from the first game, right? right? We saw a rally back at the last second VWS is able to cap. However, if a team is able to cap in those last seconds, right, it's generally an indicator that, you know, the pressure was on on their side. They did not yeah. have map control, uh, and that's exactly what we saw. And uh, SDK able to keep their composure. Uh, they play a few minutes into overtime, and they lock down that last flag. That's right. Definitely was a great game, guys. Now game two coming up next. It's going to be locked down. Team Slayer. Will Nated and the crew be able to answer back? Or will STK close this out with 2-0? Find out after the break.